Uh, my name is Dante Clemente, and I'm the son of uh, William and Nancy right there. Um, I'm 18, I'm a junior at the Haverford School in Pennsylvania. Um, so I sent this poem that I'll read today after I uh, submitted to a, uh, the Leonard Milberg Poetry Prize at Princeton, and it got sixth out of uh, 700 uh, submissions. Um, the title of this poem is Schrodinger's Hipsters. Uh, just a little background, Schrodinger was a Polish astrophysicist who believed in theory that uh, electrons and atom could um, remain in the three phase states, so solids, liquids, and gases, all on a single plane of reality. So I kind of took the idea and tried to uh, extrapolate on it. So uh, this is the poem. Schrodinger's hipsters believe the buzzing electrons of their souls are in every state and will never die, just like them, and they tried and are still trying. They breathe the secrets of themselves behind their pupils, and their hearts and their tongues delight with the air itself, cradled the articulation of the true selves through poetry. Poetry. They scoop the poetry of the night air, whipping the window with a powdered blue mustang, tie their dreams to oxygen molecules with their carefree songs, releasing them to paint the sky. Poetry, the body's orientation through reality or false reality, of their existence, which, in truth, was a constant state of destruction, of being stamped out by their idolized gods, who, to who tore up in their backs to release their feathered spirits, soared in cool nights on poetry, the screams of the dying wounded, the shrieks of the heroin-induced heavens, who were told they were invincible, the howls of the dreamers' drowning breaths, poetry of the mind's exuberance forming condensation on the window panes of the heart, the condensation licked away by the poetry the greatest contradiction ever to be lapped up and gorged upon in the factories and the wars and the gargoyles watching with beady eyes from the monoliths of in industry and tidy businessmen waiting for the bus waited. They waited to croon the poetry softly in the American dream, so old and aged, the resonance of their hearts pool in her wrinkles, their hold close at hand to the bosom and comforted with seemingly proverbial truths of the reality. I am fine. My mind is fine. My soul is fine. I can't stand the face I see in the mirror. I get spontaneously upset walking down the street. I don't feel good. My brain hurts. My eyes hurt. I might swallow my tongue if it keeps talking. I'm sorry I stood on the rooftops of my life, thinking whether to plumb it down. Whether, you're, whether you were in uh, your drunken stupor, why did you strip the fall trees bare? Within drunkenness of the machinery cogs in the buildings and in the air and the ground, and the national anthem in their minds, and they wept, cried, sweated, huddled and extinguished ash of feelings and life smoldering at their ends. Why am I so in inadequate to culture? Why do you say I don't exist in my mind? It's okay to exist there sometimes, right? We have no future. Poverty doesn't exist. Genocide doesn't exist. Murder doesn't exist. We're all fine, just fine. We are free. Thank you. Thank you.